One East Bay community is taking action against taggers who deface public property. As Crown Forest Jeff Pierce explains, some of the best street artists in the Bay Area are replacing those tags with some beautiful images. When 15th Street between Webster and Franklin in downtown Oakland was the target of spray can taggers, art gallery owner Jaime Galinda and his friends in the art community came together to attack the problem with street art. I'm an artist, my friends are artists, my wife's an artist. Let's beautify the neighborhood through art, paint over the tagging and graffiti that makes it look horrible and replace it with beautiful, vibrant art that lifts the community. I'm really happy with what we did out here on this but that wasn't enough. I wanted to take it a step further. While the art collective gave the street a whimsical sense of innocence, Galinda wanted to demonstrate that true graffiti art that comes from the street transcends the crude vandalism the neighborhood suffered from. Crayon did the dragon. He did the face. Here in this corner is Blaze, a.k.a. Picasso. This wall here was done by Nate One. This corner here, character, was done by East Three and Craze One. And then we have the Buddha that was done by Mike Bam, TWS. Glenda enlisted six of some of the most accomplished street artists in the Bay Area to produce art in his 15th Street Gallery for an exhibition that will demonstrate that works of art can be created with a spray can. What I do is, is not, per se, uh, the vandal on the street. What I do is uh, the artwork with the spray can, and that's a huge main difference between me and the average tagger. The artist's symbol for the exhibition, which opens on December 7th, all have decades of experience in perfecting their art and have had both exhibitions and commissions to produce their work. Well, I would consider myself an artist um, with roots in graffiti art. I started in 1987, so over 25 years later, I'm still doing it. Well, I started doing gallery shows and, and started getting uh, paid commissioned by uh, corporations and local businesses. And here I am after 30 years. It's been a long ride. The artists challenged themselves in designing the exhibit. So we're going to paint and try to push the boundaries of what typical graffiti art is. And what we did is we limited our color palette to just black, white, and red. Proceeds from the exhibition will help support the art collective's efforts to continue to create street murals. We want other neighborhoods to see what we're doing and duplicate that. Because together we can make a difference. In Oakland, Jeff Pierce, Crime Foreign. The exhibit opens at the Love Oakland Gallery on December 7th.